Okay, hello and welcome to another episode of Quasi's Corner with me, Quasi. Today I'm going to be touching on the Bosphorus Gold Raw series. I've just come fresh from um, the Bosphorus factory back in Istanbul. Um, we will see what these are like up close up next. Alright, so here we have the Bosphorus Raw series, um, Raw Gold series I should add. But basically, if I was to sum this up as a, as a range, it would be Polish Turks, because they have the same sort of hammering, they have the same bell uh, symbol profile and bell shape. Obviously there are other factors, but I'm pretty sure it's made um, of the same alloy as the standard gold series, but it's hammered differently, like I said. Um, the the basic shape of the symbol is just like the Turks, whether it be the crashes, um, the ride, um, or the uh, hats. In this case, a 14-inch pair of hats, 18 crash, and a 20-inch ride. Uh, very rich, full, but dark tones, dark pitch, with um, that high-end finesse flash on it that you'd expect. So for those of you who were looking at um, Turks and you like Turks but it just wasn't just didn't hit that those high pitches enough this is basically the answer to that there is a lot of detail in the hammering um, I don't know if you can see above me there's you can see the details of the hammer is crazy um, even behind me uh, the reflection obviously with the Turk being unlaved um, you have to look closely to appreciate the hammering a bit maybe a bit more than you would this you can see every hammer mark on this um, when it comes to every symbol. The bell on both uh, the ride and the crash, um, extremely prominent, clean, clear bell. Um, you got uh, some rich overtones coming from that ride, uh, for instance, and the, the bell is just, like I said, it, it speaks nicely without overpowering the rest of the symbol. Um, when it comes to the crash, um, it's very much the same story. I mean, this can be used as a crash ride, whatever. Um, obviously, they put names on it, crash ride, etc. But uh, these symbols are so versatile. The same thing goes for the hats. Um, really high-pitched tone, but it's got that darkness that you would expect from a Turk. Um, a really rich and full, uh, medium heavy weight, this, this particular one. Um, and really sizzles really nicely. Obviously that polished finish adding to that high frequency overtone you got and then you got these rich undertones um, which one would expect from um, anything to do with the Turk series. Like I said, the bow creates, um, the bow and the bell create a different kind of effect than you would have on a traditional, um, to traditional gold series if in that sense of the word. Obviously the bell's very different so it's going to respond a lot better. Um, that kind of convex kind of finish on that. The same with the um, the bow of the, uh, the symbol, you're gonna get a hell of a lot more response. Um, whether it be the ride or the crash, like I said, or the, the hats. Um, the hats clothes respond very, very nicely to, to the sticking. Um, bear in mind I was using um, my sticks on this, I think Glenny's uh, model, so it's pretty articulate. It's, it's a sweet one, it's a sweet. I would, I would call this like, you know, like the, uh, an engineer's friend, because obviously a lot of engineers, they like to have symbols that uh, cut in, bounce out, 
EQ it to your desire, add a bit of length for it, gate it, whatever. Um, these would work very well in a recording situation. You want a certain amount of sustain and controllability, especially when it comes to the ride. Significantly brighter than, than a normal set of Turks. Like I said, I compared it to straight away. As soon as I pulled these out of plastic, it was like, okay, hold on. You know, on a personal level, this is just me talking. The gold weren't my favorite of the bunch. But as soon as I tried this, I felt that richness, they just kind of hit a spot. Um, you know, because there are many people who love the sound of Turks coming to the shop, love the sound that they, they have, what did you say? Uh, it's just, it just needs to be a bit brighter. It needs to have that little bit more sustain, but not too much, etc., etc. So they've had enough time uh, back at Bosphorus to experiment with different finishes and, and really try and come up with something innovative that is in keeping with the rest of their series. And uh, I believe they've done it here. They've, they've definitely done it here. I'm very, very impressed with this, um, as is the boss. I think this is going to tick a lot of boxes, like I said. It's going to please a lot of guys and girls. These are available um, in most sizes. Um, the sizes that have come in uh, to the UK uh, have been ranging from 22, um, 22 rides right down to 19 rides, crashes right up to 20. Um, down to, you know, the usual like 13 and the hats we've got you know, 14, 13 and also they're available in 15 so you can really mix and match um, when it comes to getting that sound that fits you. So here we have the, uh, like I said, the Gold Series um, Raw. Very impressed with this. Excited to see your sub models that come out from this series and uh, really looking forward to testing them out because, listen, if you don't believe me, go and try out yourself and see what this is saying. Um, these really, really speak, so. If you like what you've seen, please do not hesitate to like, subscribe, let us know what you like, let us know what you don't like. Are these symbols that um, stand out to you? Do they tick the boxes that were previously unticked that you didn't realize that needed to be ticked, if that makes sense? Or would they fit nicely into a setup um, that you have? Feel free to try them out. Come into the shop, drumshack.co.uk on Instagram, and also Troden Music, who distribute this in the UK. So, you will see us soon. Take care.